Now, when you edit a drama, you've got a script in front of you. But how do you edit documentaries when all you've got is loads of different shots and hundreds of interminable interviews? Well, I went along to ask one of the judges, Jenny Barraclough, about the bin job, as it's called in the trade. In making a documentary, you work, of course, with a film editor. And as far as I'm concerned, I think editors are the unsung heroes of this business because we come back and we land them with all this film. I mean, look at all the cans up there on those shelves. And out of that, they, with us, have to make something that is good enough to go out on the air that might be a tenth of the length of all these rushes. So what you do is you look through the rushes together, you then, the producer, you go away and you work out a running order. You work out who are your best people, how can you best tell your story, what's your beginning, middle and end. You then give that to the editor, who makes a big assembly of all the best material based on your running order. You look at it, you usually think, God, this is dreadful, wish I'd never done it, terrible mistake. Um, and you're, you're, you feel pretty low at that stage. <clears throat> then you, you start fining it down from, say, two hours right down to the one hour or 50 minutes or 40 minutes it has to be. And usually it gets better and better as it gets tighter and tighter. And that's when you can make the more creative decisions. And that's why the last couple of weeks in making a film are always pretty exciting. Um, but it's like painting a picture. You know, you've got all the paints around you and you've got to bring in the, the paints that make, in the end, the very best picture. What do you personally enjoy most about making documentaries? I find it so exciting because all the work you've put into this, all the research, the filming, the ringing people up, the hoping it'll all come, come out on the day, this is when it actually takes final shape and when all the work that you put into it becomes something real that you hope will communicate with people. And I find the last two weeks of editing the best part of making any film. I always have. How important do you think a good commentary is? If the characters themselves can carry you through the story, marvellous. But there's no point in leaving the audience confused or not knowing quite what's going on. It's much better to have a clear linking commentary that just tells you what's happening and connects things up. And that's quite a skill. Um, but I don't think people should be afraid of putting on commentary. So what do you think makes a good documentary? Humour. You see, I don't think you want to take yourself too seriously. I think a serious subject can work much better when it's got a bit of humour in it. And I think what makes a good film is that the person making it really wants to make that film, really wants to make that subject. That's the most important thing of all. They shouldn't be doing it as a job.